Now at noon, we're learning SeaWorld has settled a class action lawsuit stemming from the documentary Blackfish. Yeah, a group of investors sued SeaWorld, claiming the company misled them about the film's impact on theme park attendance. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest broke this big story for us on ClickOrlando.com. He joins us now live from the newsroom. Mike, this settlement comes as a trial was supposed to begin. That's right, Justin. Jury selection was scheduled to begin a week from today in San Diego. Now it appears that trial will be canceled as SeaWorld reaches a settlement with a group of investors. Now, according to filings with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, SeaWorld will pay $65 million to settle the class action lawsuit. Now, under the agreement, SeaWorld admits no wrongdoing. A federal judge still has to approve that settlement. Now, back in 2014, a group of shareholders sued SeaWorld, claiming the company misled investors about how the documentary Blackfish was hurting theme park attendance. Originally, SeaWorld executives claimed the film was having no impact, even though investors claim they have now uncovered evidence showing SeaWorld knew Blackfish was keeping visitors away. When the company finally acknowledged Blackfish was causing some problems, SeaWorld's stock price plunged, costing investors millions of dollars. Now, it has since recovered. In fact, Upon news of this settlement this morning, SeaWorld shares spiked to a 52-week high. Now, this is not the first time SeaWorld has reached a settlement related to Blackfish. A little more than a year ago, the company and its former CEO agreed to pay $5 million to settle fraud charges filed by the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Justin? Interesting that the stock uh, hit a 52-week high today. Mike, thank you for that news, and great job breaking the story.